have the honor of introducing Lily Ledbetter, whom I first met about a year ago and with whom I have been privileged to appear and advocate on behalf of equal rights for women uh, from pay to all of the other issues that are still not what they need to be in our country. I've had the extraordinary experience of traveling across America for the last uh, 17 months. And time and again, I saw the reality of what it means not to be paid equally. So many women who came to me after an event on a rope line, grabbing me in a hallway or walking down a street, who talked about how Lily Ledbetter and her case was not an exception. It seems almost hard to believe that so many years later we are here talking about an issue that we passed a law to try to remedy all those decades ago. But the reality is that women still only earn 70 cents on the dollar and African American and Latino women earn even less than that. That's because we're not enforcing the law on the book. That is because attitudes still persist, that as you heard Speaker Pelosi recite from some of what was said about Lily Ledbetter, that somehow women don't deserve the same rights, the same opportunities as men. This is not just a women's issue, this is a family issue. Every woman who is shortchanged in her paycheck shortchanges her family. If she is sharing responsibilities financially with a husband, that's not fair to him either. If she's a single mom, it's really tough. So we're going to persist in making sure that the country and the Congress knows this is a piece of unfinished business. We're going to bring it up again in the Senate. We were three votes short, but you can tell that the Republicans are worried because they've introduced their own version. It's not as good or as thorough as what we have proposed, but it sure sends a signal that they're paying a price politically, and they should. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure the Senate passes this bill before the end of this Congress. And I am... Uh, I am the Senate uh, sponsor of the Paycheck Fairness Act, which I have been for about the last four years. And we're going to look for the opportunity to bring it up in the Senate. Uh, you pass it in the House, and we're going to make our colleagues vote for it in the Senate. The Paycheck Fairness Act puts more teeth into the enforcement provisions, makes it very clear that asking what your colleagues at work make is not a firing offense because part of the reason it is difficult to bring these cases is people don't know. Lily Ledbetter was in effect punished for not knowing what her male counterparts made. And once she did find out, you have to think about whether you're gonna sue your company, but she did courageously and she won. And the Supreme Court said, well, you shoulda, coulda, woulda known before. Well, that's not the way the real world works. And so we're going to pass the Lilly Ledbetter Equal Pay Act and the Paycheck Fairness Act. And to the young women who are here, I hope you realize that this is part of your ongoing responsibility, that this is a challenge that is passed on to you. And once we pass this law, then we have to make sure it's enforced. And it's also important that young women believe you should negotiate for the pay and benefits you deserve. Too many young women do not have And you can go to my website, www.clinton.senate.gov, and read about some of the techniques used for making sure you get what you deserve and that you are paid a fair wage for the work you do. We wouldn't be here today if Lily Ledbetter hadn't decided that she was not going to put up with what happened to her. She worked all those years in that tire factory. She was the only woman supervisor. She did her job and she assumed that she was being paid what her position required she be paid. She found out that was not the case. So she did decide to seek justice. 
and she found justice at the court level when a jury of her peers heard what had happened to her. Unfortunately, she ended up over at the Supreme Court, where five to four, they decided that protecting business was more important than protecting our citizens. So we owe a great debt of gratitude to this brave woman, and it's my pleasure to introduce Lily Ledbetter.